everyone, it's Melissa. Well, it is Tuesday and it is the day of judgment. It is the day for us to answer the questions that you all have presented to us. And thank you so much for asking questions. We were a little worried that nobody would ask questions. So thank you for doing that. But um, we may make it several parts because y'all were so nice to ask a lot of questions. So we'll go ahead and get started. Yes. I'm going to ask. No. No, you're going to ask I'm me your questions. questions. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, where am I at? Okay. Uh, so Kristen's asking the questions that you ask on her channel for me. Uh, it'll be on my channel. Okay. So that's good. You'll <laughs> Get some figure, coffee. You'll, you'll, you'll figure, figure it out. out. You'll figure it out. Okay. Okay. First question is from Kate Krause. I hope I said that right, Kate. Um, Melissa, do you have any daughters? And if so, are they into makeup? I have one daughter and no. No. She could care less. She thinks I'm rather not. She doesn't think I'm silly, but she thinks, "Why would I bother?" To each their own. Yes. Okay. Second is, I am soon to be 57 years old. Kate. Oh, um, okay. What are your three best beauty tips? Sunscreen. Uh, find the best skincare for you that you can possibly find, and drink lots of water. Good tips. This first one is from Carolyn. Oh, Miss Miss Flossy. Flossy oh, hi, Carolyn. Wish you were here. Oh, but you know what? This is for me. Oh, <laughs> Miss Carolyn. Now, should I answer it? Yeah, I think I should answer it because it says, um, well, no, this was probably for you. Okay. When did your love of makeup start? Uh, I went to a high school that had the most beautiful women in the whole world. So about 13, 14. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, because they all wore makeup. My nose keeps itching. Sorry. Okay, and right. then the next one is for me. Do you have a funny story to share about Melissa or something that happened on one of your outings? I know something that happened on one of our outings. The battery. Oh! <laughs> but it's not about Melissa. It's about... Well, on one of our outings, I got here first, and it was raining, so I had had my headlights on, <laughs> and I turned my car off, and I didn't turn my headlights off, and we went and went... We went in and we got our coffee and we came back and my battery was dead, so we had to jump start my car. But that's about me. I know. But here's the thing. She got a man to help her. I did not get yeah, a man. Yeah, she to got help. a man. He stopped and may I help you? You know, he was he was oh he was looking at you. Oh, he was. you. No. But the funniest thing, you you would get in the car and you'd go <laughs> to me, it was real cute. She was real cute no. about it. The only other thing is that every time we get together one of us leaves one of our packages somewhere, either in the restaurant or in another store, and then we're frantic, running through the mall, back to the store where we were trying to find that package. It's happened every time. Every time. It will every today. Time. No lie. Every it time. will today, won't it? <laughs> okay, number two, Luann S. wants to know, where, Hi, where, did you and Doug, where did you meet Doug, and how long have you been married? We've been married, we got married in May of 86, uh, so that would be 29 years in May? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we're in, oh, 15, yes. And I met him, I uh, walked into his office for a job interview, and he hired me. <laughs> Aika, Aika Serto, what a beautiful name. Uh -huh. I hope I said that right. Um, question for Melissa. Sorry, it's kind of boring, but no, no questions no, no, are boring. No, no, boring. No, no, no. Since you live We're in the excited. South. We're so excited. Really, that anybody wants to know, know anything about it. Since you live in the South, where it's hot, I'm sorry, I'm trying new contact lenses, so I'm playing, I can't see too well. Wait, since you live in the South, where it's hot most of the year, do you have air conditioning in that gorgeous home of yours, oh. or do you just sweat it out? She says, I just couldn't handle the heat. I live in Northern Ohio, and it gets in the upper 90s sometimes. Uh, I couldn't yeah. live without AC. I am a fall and winter girl, too. Uh, oh, yay, my kind of girl. <laughs> uh, yes, we have to have air conditioner in the South. Oh. Don't you agree? Oh, absolutely. You couldn't, I mean, there would be deaths. Absolutely. There would be deaths. Deaths and suicides and murders. <laughs> murders. Uh, it is so hot and humid down here that, it's I mean, stifling. it's just hard to be, a man. You, it's hard to breathe. Mm -hmm. Don't you, don't you agree? I mean, my asthma really, really uh, yeah. acts up in the summertime. And it, it, opening a window doesn't help because no. it's just more hot it's humid just air. more hot humid air coming in, yeah. yeah. I mean, when it's 110% humidity, it's, yeah. just, it's hard to breathe. You're breathing water. Yeah. So, yes, I have definitely have air conditioning. Okay, next is from Susan Fraser. Oh, hi, Susan. 
<laughs> what is your favorite kind of music and do you have an idol, e.g. favorite film star, pop star? Your hair is, wait a minute, let me read the question. Oh, okay. <laughs> your hair I is gorgeous and you look beautiful. Have a great Saturday. Aww, thank you. Thank you, Susan. You're always so sweet. Uh, what was the, my favorite, favorite, my favorite kind of music? Favorite kind of music, any, anything rock, you know. I like rock music, uh, old stuff, some new stuff, 80s stuff. Ah, I could listen to some disco even, you know, 70s stuff. I True. Could, I could, I could yeah. listen to disco it. Disco is fun music. Yeah, yeah. If you want to dance, there's no better, better no, music than no, disco. No, no, better. Uh, and uh, what was the second part? Favorite film star, Favorite pop star, star. idol. Keanu Reeves. <laughs> if you've watched <laughs> Melissa for <laughs> any amount of time, you know that one. Oh, okay, next. That man. My heart. Okay, this one is is about Doug, how you met, so we already answered that. Okay. But she says, she always, this is from Stacy Boom. I think it's Boom. Um, Hi, Stacy. She always thinks of how lucky you are to have Doug and what a nice man he is. He and really he is. he absolutely yeah. is. Doug is a sweetheart. Well, so is your husband. We're both blessed. <laughs> we are. Kristen, we are. We are. No, yeah. I'm kidding because yes. my husband has a side and Melissa hasn't seen well, Dick has a side you haven't seen, too. Well, that's true. They, that's we true. all have sides. Okay, here, this is from Laura. Miss Shake Up. We're going to shake it up. Oh! Is, does she do the best videos? I know. I oh. like her background. That it's oh. always nice. And I know, and I love her voice. What? I think she was a TV I think you were a TV person, person Laura. I, I, do. Yeah. I think she's famous. What are some of your favorite TV shows? Do you have a celebrity crush? We just answered that one. Keanu, yeah. Um, you already know hers, she said. Yes. Don, is it Diamant? The one yes. beautiful. Yes, yes. Oh, she oh, just said that in a she video. She just said that in her video, yeah. and boy, is he yeah, good he looking. Is good he is like a, he's like a, you know, she's, he's the Keanu top, the dark yeah, hair, dark, the dark yeah, eyes. Dark yeah, dark and yeah, mysterious. Yeah, okay, yeah. so anyway, um, favorite TV shows and... Uh, Doug and I have, a, have several TV shows that we really like. We're watching, right now we're watching Turn. It's a series about the the spies during the Revolutionary War, Washington spies, secret Ooh. spies. It's very good. Uh, we like person of interest. We like um, we like elementary, and mm. we like the hot in Cleveland. Doug likes <laughs> you watch hot in Cleveland with me. Doug's a girl, so oh. <laughs> <laughs> so those are a few of our favorite shows. Okay, Elizabeth B says, "Where is your favorite place to travel?" England. Miss Susie Clancy. Hi, Susie. Hi, Susie. Oh, I hope she's feeling. I better. hope you're feeling yeah, better me too. Okay, Melissa. You gorgeous one. Would you please do a video on, with your cutie patootie and talk about the most fun thing you've ever done together? With, I'm assuming that's done. With, are you? You could be my cutie patootie <laughs> too. Uh, okay. The most fun. Uh, just, I wait tell, just tell her what it is and then you can The most expound. fun thing that Doug and I have ever done. Mm -hmm. I will have to say one of the most fun things that we did was on my 50th birthday. Doug said, okay, get in the car. And he took me down to, I think he took me down to down to Chattanooga or maybe I'm down into Georgia. Lookout Mountain? Yes. Mm -hmm. And we went skydiving. So that was, is, are you getting hot? Did both of you go skydiving? Yeah, he just, went, oh, he did he too? He did too. Yeah, we had two separate instructors. And this one? Oh, that's Kelly. Okay, that's Kelly. Kelly. I'm Hi, sorry, Kelly. Kelly. It's, if I can't, it's my eyes. It's my <laughs> it's contact lenses. Contacts. I'm trying out these new multifocal ones and the, the reading I'm not quite used to yet. So the letters are kind of... Kelly likes old houses too. Okay, did, did you have a difficult time going through menopause? Uh... I had a hysterectomy with everything when I was in my 40s and uh, went on uh, hormone replacement therapy and I've still been on it. You still are on it? Yeah. Do you ever think you'll go off of it? They don't want me to. Really? Mm -mm. My mom just recently, she in fact, she had a hysterectomy in her 40s as well. Yeah. And about, what, how, how long ago? Maybe four <laughs> years ago, she went to her doctor and he said, you don't need to be on these anymore. And he took her off of them, and she started having men menopause symptoms. Well, Interesting. Why do they want to keep because, you on? Because uh, my bones are very thin, so they're worried about osteoporosis because women in my family have the hump back and everything, oh, okay. and that keeps you from having that. And I have a birth defect in my heart, so to keep my heart good, they want to do that. Miss Carol from the old Carol Show. Hi, Carol. What are your favorite TV shows and what show do you watch as a couple? We kind of already answered that. Yes, yes. We oh, watch okay. it. Oh, we're also watching Outlander, too, so I will answer. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I haven't started. We're saving them all up. Oh, you haven't watched them yet? 
Well, season one, we save them all up and watch them. We used to do that with 24, too. We love 24. 24 is a good one. Yeah, we, would, we like to save them all up and then watch them in marathons. That's fun to do. Yeah. I can't do that with Outlander. <laughs> I haven't started season two yet. But I've read all the books. I mean, I know what happens, but... Well, that's true. But seeing is it, it... Is it just... Real, he's gorgeous. He is so gorgeous. He's gorgeous. Okay, he's I'm so sorry. Sweet. We're on a tangent. And he's so... And he's so sweet. I know. He is. He is. Okay, and I love this, his accent. This is from Chantal Christine. Oh, see... Chantal! Hi! She's okay, French. so we know how we met Doug. Was it love at first sight? No. <laughs> Did not care for him at all. That is something we had in common. No. Did not. Oh, not Doug. Right. It's not that I didn't care for Doug. <laughs> no, I thought he was a smart ass. And, Isn't that funny? Yeah. Didn't like his humor. And, mm -mm. Okay, the lovely Susan W. Susan! How did you and Kristen become such good friends, and what surprised you about Kristen as you have gotten to know her? What has surprised me most, not a surprise, but what has struck me most is how absolutely gorgeous she is in person. <laughs> now, really, you are. Uh, I've got to Says the pot expand. calling the kettle black. Now, I have to expand. I don't know. I've never told you this, but like, well, sometimes we'll be walking in the mall and stuff, and men turn and look at you. No. They do. No. They do. Thinking, oh, you have, God. What's no, wrong with her? No. She's got this beautiful, she, you've got a fantastic figure. She's got this beautiful dark hair, and I don't know, just the way you care. I don't know. You're just gorgeous. Thank so, you. You're way too And sweet. so now what was the first part? How did we get to become such good friends? Just... Just kind of meeting over and over again. I mean, we, we, we knew we had a lot in common. Yeah. And then we met and we just we hit it up. We hit it off. We just clicked. Yeah. It was like, for me. It was for me. I had known her all my life. Yes. We, we walked around and meandered around the mall. Yeah. You had to buy new shoes because your feet started hurting. <laughs> yeah. yeah <'cause laughs> and then we decided to sit down and talk. And I remember yeah. Doug called you and was like, are you okay? Yeah. Because it was right. so late. But it, it was. It was. Yeah. It was just an instant connection like. She, you, we just knew we had met. Yeah, we'd known each other all our lives. There was no awkwardness. No, yeah, it was yeah. very special. Okay, she sent me. She she gave me a wonderful uh, lipstick today, and because yesterday wonderful. was Melissa's birthday. Because yeah, birthday. thank you, and a uh, beautiful card that made me tear up. So now I'm all teary. Oh, stop. Okay, <laughs> ramblings great. Rambling, ramblings and grace. Uh, t -t -t why did you start your YouTube channel? Were you nervous? And what gives you inspiration? Um, why did I start it? I, I, I saw so many other women with YouTube channels and I, I kind of thought, well, there's not a whole lot for older women. You Definitely, know, I mean, absolutely. there was, it was what, two years ago and there mm -hmm. was, I mean, there were, were some. Uh, so I thought, oh, that, that looks like fun. And I was a little nervous, but I thought, well, I don't have to upload it. Very true. You know, I thought, let me just see. I don't have to upload it. See what happens. I get my inspiration is just do my everyday routine. I think, oh, I think I'll show that. Yeah. Or I wonder if I do that different from others. Yeah. Do you? Um, not so much, I don't think. Well, maybe just a little bit. your everyday life? Maybe. And sometimes I think, oh, that would make a good video. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think that's, yeah. Okay. This is Lisa Lippincott in Style Grams. Melissa, I know you work with Doug. What do you guys do for a living? <gasps> uh, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I asked Doug if I could say what his profession was, and he said absolutely not. So I guess I have to respect that. Um, you know, that's that's one thing. Uh, when I started my channel, I talked to my children, I talked to Doug, and, and said, how come much can I tell? Because I would tell everything, <laughs> because I'm just like that. But... Uh, they, they said, you know, you're the one doing the channel, not us, so please don't say our town we live in, our, our names, our last names. Um, and Doug said, please don't say our, my profession, so I have to respect that. Sure, Sorry. that's understandable. Yeah, but I am, I am his secretary. Okay, 50 plus He does not pay me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miss Mary Ellen. Hi, Mary Ellen. Oh, isn't she the sweetest? Yes. Oh, she reminds me of my sister-in-law. Oh. Every time I see her, I think of my sister. -in -law. Okay, so when you were a senior in high school, what did you want to be when you grew up? The number one thing I always wanted to be was a Radio City Music Rockette. <laughs> you could be, too. I could, I could kick up real high. I always wanted to do it, but I lived in, in a little small town in Tennessee. I didn't know how to get to New York City. <laughs> you could be. You <laughs> and I got married. So, but I always wanted to be a rocket. So it's cute. So that's what that's I wanted fun. to do. That's fun. 